Eat More Lifestyle segment is sponsored by Ubo. As a kid, living through a quarantine can get pretty lonely, which is why many may turn to social media. Well, joining us today is the CEO and co-founder of Ubo, Sasha Lazimi, a non-binary member of the LGBTQ community, Zach, to talk about how kids can stay connected safely. All right, well, thank you both for joining us. So, Sasha, let's start with you. How can our kids stay safe when they're using social media? It's very important to understand that social media is the reflection of what is happening offline in real life. So what I would advise is to behave as you behave offline in real life to make sure that you know the person, that it's a real person before sharing any private information. And that's why at Ubo, we develop safety tools for teens to protect themselves, to block, to report, to mute, to do anything that will make them safe on the platform, but also to educate them with real-time alert before they are doing something wrong. Okay, a great information. So, Zach, can you share your story with us briefly and how you've been able to stay connected with other teens during the pandemic? I found out about this app with, from people that I grew up with, mm -hmm. went to high school with, and even graduated with, and they told me what an amazing and wonderful experience they had on the app. So I downloaded it, gave it a test drive, and found that there were so many welcoming people with open arms and getting to meet new people from across the world in different cultures and across the nation mm -hmm. and just make so many friends to be with me through my journey coming out as non-binary queer. Sasha, what do you want to say to parents who are still concerned about their kids being online? I would say to them that there is no difference for teens between offline and online. This is part of their life. And as you are asking them what happened today at school, you should also ask them what happened online. Mm -hmm. What app did you use? What do you love? Why you are using this platform? Because this is very important to create a link with them about their online life to make sure that they will report you everything that could happen online and especially bad content. And then you should also advise them to advise them to respect themselves, to respect other people as they are respecting them offline in a public space. And last but not least, I would advise them to report and block any inappropriate content they have and not share it with others. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us. Where can we go to get more information? So you can go on our website, cuba.live. We have a safety center and we have dedicated guides for teens and parents when mm -hmm. we can learn about all our safety measures and all tips about how you can keep your teens safe online. All right. Well, thank you both again for joining us today. I appreciate it.